you are looking at a brand new Kaiser plastic trumpet. The, the words may be a little bit backwards because of the way I got the camera, but anyway, it's Kaiser. And I might even have a picture kind of right beside me uh, while we're doing this video. It's all plastic, very, very light. Came with a gig bag that also says Kaiser on it. So it's kind of nice gig bag. And it included their plastic mouthpiece. So this would probably be a very perfect for those of you that have to sit out in the stands, if your band, band director will let you, if you have to sit out at, like we do halftime shows and then sit out for football games when it's freezing cold. Where I grew up and where I went to high school, guaranteed um, after um, October, if we had to do parades, if we had to be outside for some like homecoming or whatever, uh, it, it just got really, really cold. I remember a long time ago when I lived in Hendersonville, our band was selected to, to play at the inaugural opening of the Johnny Cash Memorial Parkway. And we had to do that right after New Year's Day. So it was like the second week in January. And it was like 20 degrees or 18 degrees. I mean, it was just so free, freaking cold. I mean, I could barely get anything to happen on my trumpet. And it was like holding a big ice cube or worse. It would have been really nice to have had a backup horn like this to be able to play on some of those cold days. It would have made all the difference. Also, this is not likely to go as flat as your typical trumpet would on a very cold day like that. Uh, now, a couple of years ago, I reviewed some plastic instruments. One was like the P-Bone, I believe. And uh, I, you don't see this, but what happened was I also ordered the P-Trumpet. It was a red one, and it just fell apart on me. So I didn't review it. I mean, I, I just didn't feel like leaving that much of a horrible review for the trumpet. So um, last year I ordered another one just for sh shits and giggles. And guess what? It's just a piece of junk. The valves didn't work right. And it it just was, I don't, I'm looking at some of the videos that promote it. And I think these are by trumpet players that are being paid to um, talk about it. Now, I don't know if they got made a special P trumpet the, the plastic trumpet, you've seen them, the plastic red trumpets. I don't know if they were made better so they could demonstrate them, but my experience with the P-Trump is, is thumbs down. Um, look at the reviews. They have a, a lot of horrible reviews, at least for the trumpet. I mean, the thing falls apart. Um, the, the slides don't fit well. The valves are total crap. Um, doesn't play well, so uh, the, on the, just the trumpet. Now the P-Bone, the P-Trombone seem to be okay. You you can go um, search me on YouTube for the, just put Kurt Thompson P-Bone Review or Plastic Trombone Review. That one was decent. You heard the slide, it had a little scratchiness to it, but it was it was okay. But the P-Trumpet, uh, I think they're all garbage for the ones that I've tried. And I can't afford to waste any more time ordering, getting it, messing around with it, and then sending it back. But I did happen to land on this one. Now this one um, is miles better and miles ahead of the, the P-Trumpet. If you have a P-Trumpet and you're unhappy and you got stuck with one, uh, you I would say probably throw that in the recycle bin because it's all recyclable, right? Recycle it and get you a Kaiser. The Kaiser plastic trumpet is the way to go. And they have all kinds of colors. I just chose the black one because I, I kind of dug it at the time and I, now I'm really digging it. I mean, this could be cool on um, uh, just about any gig, right? I mean, it's just gonna look nice. So, but they do have other colors. I believe they have red and white and maybe purple and some others. Um, I played around with this and I thought for the most part, this is um, kind of right up there with Mandini as far as their starter or beginning trumpet. Now, you know I've rated Mandini trumpet, the beginning one, um, uh, the, like the number one for the money you're going to spend for a beginner trumpet, right? hundred bucks. This is also right about a hundred, just has like a hundred dollars and change and a little over a hundred, but uh, wow, it's worth it. If you wanted a plastic trumpet, something that's very light, if you wanted a backup trumpet, or if you have to go back and forth to school and carry a trumpet, 
this is going to make all the difference. It's very, very light. Or if you tend to live in a warm, sorry, a cold environment, warm, like, well, I mean, you have to be in, you know, like in the desert for this to make a difference. But if you live in a colder environment, an environment where it does get cold and snowy and icy during the fall, winter time, you'll definitely want to have something like this. Now, uh, I went through and played a little bit of Arbenz. And this is the same Arbenz that I just recently did on my uh, normal trumpet where I kind of flew at extremely fast lightning speeds on it. Um, I tried to do the same thing on this. It came out pretty decent. Now it didn't come out quite as good on my as it did on my pro horn on this, but it still you'll hear it. It came out pretty good. So go ahead and take a listen right now. Okay, we got the black Kaiser plastic trumpet with their black plastic mouthpiece. Never played on it. We're gonna give it a challenge and see what happens when this black trumpet, this plastic one, meets the Arbens. We're going to start slow and accelerando. Uh, not bad, right? I mean, for this is a beginner horn, so not bad for a beginner horn. Uh, but if you want to know how well it can sound, I also have another version where I played it on my pro horn, and I kind of just uh, winged it, really. If you watch that video, it's uncut. I come out and just go to town on it. I guess not bad for winging it. So this one's for a beginner or for an adult who's not going to invest a lot of time playing in it. Um, you can't go wrong. I mean, you're not going to lose hardly anything. It's a hundred bucks and you got yourself a nice horn. Um, other than that, um, I'm trying to remember if I played a ballad on it. All right, let's try a ballad on this black plastic Kaiser trumpet with their mouthpiece, not my mouthpiece. Let's do a nice easy ballad from Maynard Ferguson, at least the easy part.
So if I want to play something soft and smooth, um, from the slow version of Feel So Good. I thought the tone was lovely, centers, rather relatively in tune. Let's find out, find out about the intonation. Uh, let's take, her, take a couple scales. Not bad. It's relatively in tune with itself. Not bad. Uh, no, I don't even know what mouthpiece this is, so it, it feels like it might be a 3C or a Bach 1.5 or something like that. Probably a 3C. So, uh, yeah, tone wise, like you're on the balance. It's good. It's a good tone. What about high notes? Well, don't know about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what we can play here for high notes. Um, Actually smooth, right? Smooth. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressing myself. Not because of the plane, but that this horn is able to handle that. Um, could it do any kind of lead stuff? Let's see if I can pull this right out of my hat. You heard me. And you know, most of those old timey bands, you're not going to be screaming out double G's. Um, I, I guess at the very most. I mean, probably have to play it to B flat, right? That's just about it. B flat or high C. This will fit the bill. So I'm impressed. This is the only plastic trumpet that I've recommended. You won't find any find me recommending any other plastic trumpets and i'm recommending kaiser right now this is the real deal the valves are good it plays in tune with itself i've dibbled and dabbled with it a couple of times it's solid it hasn't fallen apart like the p trumpet did on me twice kaiser trumpet hope you found this review helpful i'll leave a link in the description where you can get it right away and I'm Kirk Thompson. I'll catch you in the next review.